Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lenny and I'm a third year dental student and I go to Tufts University. It has been a long time since I've talked to you guys. I have been on break and now it's 2020, it's January 9th. Um, I've been gone for a while and so basically I have a lot to update you guys but I'm back and I'm excited it's 2022 so I'm ready to make this year great and continue the vlogs for you guys basically once I was done with school I just wanted to take a complete break and I was just completely relaxing and just kind of doing no work and sleeping in and just like taking care of myself so I haven't done any editing or filming it's the first time i'm picking up my camera in a long time but i'm excited to be back and filming for you guys um so i have a lot of things to update you guys on um so first i did sign up for the boards i'm doing it in may so obviously i will tell you guys all about it i'll do a separate video on it too but um i got the books i'll show you guys in a second um, so I'm really excited to be signing up for the boards and I've already done a video on um, crack the INDBE um, explaining the new exam and the course that they offer. I think I'm going to be using that so um, I can link the video again down below and I'll be talking about them again because I will probably be using their website but I'm just going to show you guys the books. I bought them off of Amazon. Okay, so I know the exam is one integrated exam, but I still wanted to buy the old books. Just thought it would be good to still go through them and um, just see what they have because there isn't really a new book yet for the new exam. Um, so I got part one and part two, even though the new exam is just one exam and it's not two separate exams. Um, if you haven't heard, they changed it this or this past year I think um, so now it's gonna be an integrated boards exam rather than two parts but I still want to get the books just to have some place to start my studying um, but I did sign up and everything so I'm excited for that so like when you sign up um, it's kind of like when you sign up for the DAT you get like a Denton pin or something so if you don't have that number make sure to look for it and basically you sign up to sign up so you have to go register and then like two days later they'll give you a registration code um, and then you can pick your dates and it's two days. So I picked one on a Saturday and then I picked one on the following Friday just to give myself some time to um, recuperate from the exam I guess. Um, because you can do it back to back if you want to but I just gave myself some time in between. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. And also, I did get some new things from Figs that I really want to show you guys. I've been thinking about doing a haul. I just don't know if I have time right now to do it. But I still want to show you guys what I got. And I did do a little unboxing kind of on like um, my TikTok and on my Instagram. So if you wanted to look at that, you can also see all the stuff that I got there. So first I got these really nice compression socks and they're really soft and I love them so much. I just think they're so cute. And then on the bottom it says floss like a boss which is just so cute and I love them and I can't wait to wear these in the clinic. Um, so yeah I these are my first pair of Figs socks and they're just so cute and I love them. I also got a hat which is so cute. It's like this bright yellow color and it's super warm. Um, yeah, so I love it. It says Figs on it. It is super cute. I love it. It's perfect for the winter time here in Boston. Um, it's always freezing so it's good for the winter here. And then to go along with that, I got myself a jacket. Um, I've never gotten like a jacket from Figs before. It's like a scrub jacket, so you wear it over your scrubs. But I just figured since it's going to be cold, um, I want some, something to wear over my scrubs, like around school and stuff. So I got this really nice jacket. 
um it's really good quality and yeah i love it i'll link everything down below um but this is just such a nice jacket and i'm really excited to wear it and lastly i got myself a new pair of fig scrubs um a new set of fig scrubs so i got the gray color i figured since my color is black at school technically for my class um but we have to go into school and then change so i figured why not get a different color since i just go to school and then change so i wanted to get this gray color um so i got this scrub top which is this is the Casma three pocket um i also got these during the black friday sale um so they were like way cheaper so if you're wanting to get scrubs but don't want to pay the price because it's it can be pretty expensive um just wait for black friday and you can get a pretty good deal um so basically so this scrub top has the three pockets um two big ones in the front and then it has like a little one in the inside one of the pockets and then i also got these pants these are my first set of the jogger pants um which i'm really excited about and i love the color of the strings it's just like this bright yellow um so yeah i really love them and i love the scrunch at the top so those are the scrubs i got and one more thing i wanted to show you guys I got my new passion planner for 2020 and I'm obsessed with it. It's the marble, obviously, and they started putting the year on the side, which is really cool. So I'm really excited to start filling it in and get organized with my planner. I think I'll do like a whole separate video of getting organized in my planner for the new year. So make sure to look out for that. But this is my old planner. And this is my new one so i'm gonna write in my new planner and get organized for the week i have patience this week um so i'm really excited to write in my new planner so i think i'm going to take some time right now to fill it out and get organized also i forgot to mention um this is specific to me and my school um and our schedule but basically our schedule is like this and it has all our classes on it and I'll just print it out and I will write all of my appointments onto this paper schedule just so I have everything in one place and this is a schedule that I'll pull out like while I'm in clinic with my patients and that way I can see what classes I have when when do I have exams and like what appointments I have so it's easier than taking out my entire planner um, and that way I can see the whole month and I can see all of my patients and everything so basically I'll write everything um, with my appointments on this monthly calendar and then when I go into my passion planner and write everything weekly I will look at this calendar and write everything in for the week and then usually for like my calendar in my passion planner i will just write when i have exams um and other like appointments not with school or like dinners or something like that because i don't want to have um my calendar in my passion planner um overcrowded because usually when i write this with all my patients and everything it will get over overcrowded and sometimes people cancel so i cross things out so this gets like pretty messy um and i don't want my like planner to get messy too so i will typically write everything out on my calendar for all my classes and everything and then i copy it into my weekly calendar i don't know if that made any sense at all but um i just have like a system so as long as you have like a system and way to organize things um that will really help you and that's just like how i do it um so yeah so my patient for tomorrow canceled but i think i'm just gonna still go into school and do lab work and study and stuff because i have two custom trays that i need to get done for later in the week um and then i also have an exam on wednesday so i need to study for that um because i haven't started studying yet so uh, yeah, I think I'll still go into school early Just like get there and get used to the routine again um, And probably go to the library to study and then also to the lab to like do lab work and do catch-up work and stuff like that mm -hmm. um, But yeah, it's around 8 o'clock now. I think I'm going to 
slowly start getting ready for bed and doing my nighttime routine just so I can get to bed early because I'm going to be waking up early again tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start slowly getting ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, it's around 9.30. I got to school about like an hour ago. Um, I got here really early, but I've just been doing work and I'm deciding if I want to get a coffee or not. I really want to get one, but I feel like I don't really need it, but I might just go get one just because I want to. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be doing work here for a little bit. Then I think I'm going to go to the lab and do lab work. Um, and yeah, probably like a pretty easy day since my patient canceled. Um, and I'll probably just be studying and doing work. But yeah, pretty boring day at the library. Um, and I probably will get a coffee just to like help motivate me and stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much what's going on for today. Just studying, being in the library. So I will talk to you guys later. so quickly i was so hungry it's 1 30 now i'm back in the library i went to the lab for a little bit and worked on some custom trays for some rpds that i'm going to be doing um but i went and got lunch at alba and pan i usually get the newport turkey um, and i got sun chips and i was so hungry and it's so fast but now i'm going to watch some lectures for perio i have the exam on wednesday so I'll just be hanging out in the library for a little bit longer, um, maybe like another hour or two um, doing work and then head home and study more there. But yeah, pretty, pretty boring day. Not much going on. My patient for tomorrow already canceled, so that's good. But I think I have, I have another patient at one, so hopefully she'll... Hopefully that patient comes, um, but yeah, I'm going to do some work for now and I'll talk to you guys later. so tired today it was such a long day I had my perio exam this morning at 7 45 and then I had an appointment at 9 I did um, a final impression for a partial denture um, it was definitely a very tough appointment but I'm really happy with how the impression came out in the end so that was good and then I have another appointment tomorrow morning for another partial that I'm doing. So that's exciting too. I'm getting my teeth cleaned. Um, so I'll be going to my dentist to get my teeth cleaned. And then I also have to get a TB test because that's like required at my school. Um, but yeah, today was such a long day. 
I spent so much time in the lab too. I was in the lab from like 11 until 4 and then I had my appointment at 4.30. I did a cleaning for my little and then I went back to the lab and yeah, got home late, like around 8 o'clock, had dinner, relaxed for a little bit, but it's time for bed now. I'm just like going over my schedule, like making sure I write down like everything. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted and I have to wake up early again tomorrow, so, so that will be fun. But luckily tomorrow I just have the morning appointment and then the rest of the day will be just going to the dentist. Um, yeah, and then Friday I have a morning appointment, and then I also have ortho. I have an ortho seminar at 1 Friday afternoon, but then it's a long weekend, which is exciting. Um, but, yeah, I don't know how well perio went. I kind of just took it, and then I rushed to clinic, and I didn't really think about it afterwards, so I have no idea how I did on the perio exam. I feel like I keep studying less and less, but... It's okay. I'm just so busy with clinics, so it's hard to really put time in for class because just like clinic takes up so much time. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, anyways, I am going to get ready for bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday night now. It's around 8 o'clock. It was such a long day today. I got to school very early and I had my appointment this morning for border molding, but I also had to re-cement the temporary crown for my patient, it fell off. So, and my big was supposed to be there and she ended up feeling sick. So I had to re-cement the crown and then do the border molding. And it was just so long and it took forever. I took the entire appointment. So I was really, really drained after that. And then I went and got my teeth cleaned and I went to dinner with my dad. But yeah, it was like a really busy day and tomorrow I have a lot of lab work I need to do. I want to send out my cases as soon as possible for my partials um, so they can come back quickly for my patients. Um, but yeah, it's just like a lot of lab work and yeah, I'm exhausted. I didn't really get to do any like vlogging today, I just was so busy. and focused on the day I didn't really do anything like with my phone like I didn't have time to like take it out and like take videos of anything so I apologize for the lack of content from today um but right now I'm just going to relax get organized look at like my schedule and stuff um and then like prepare for tomorrow get ready for bed go to bed early tonight because I'm going to wake up early again tomorrow to get to school early to do lab work and get everything I need to send out my cases um but yeah I'm just probably gonna like get organized right now go over my schedule um but yeah I'm excited it's Friday tomorrow I have one patient tomorrow and then I have like an ortho like lab or something I'm not really sure what it is but I have that tomorrow afternoon so hopefully it's like not bad at all <laughs> and it goes well um, but yeah, this week has been, like, a lot. It's been kind of crazy with, like, people, a lot of, like, patients canceling, um, a lot of people getting COVID, um, so it's just kind of been, like, a mess at school and in the clinic, so it's been a lot this week, coming back to school, um, adjusting from break again, so, yeah, it's been a long week, but hopefully next week is better. It's actually a long weekend, which is nice, so I'll have time to get my stuff together, recharge, reorganize, um, and get myself together. But yeah, I'm going to organize for today, look over my schedule, look over things, um, and then probably head to bed early. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday night. I'm sorry that I didn't get much content this week. I hope I have enough to make a vlog for you guys. This week was just like so crazy and long and 
stressful and I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I didn't really get to vlog as much I, as I would have hoped to. Um, and this weekend I didn't really do much either. I went swimming yesterday. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I signed up for a triathlon. So I'm excited to have that and kind of use it as my motivation to work out. Um, I felt like I really needed to like sign up for something in order to get that extra motivation for myself because I just feel like the last few years I like try to work out but then I lose motivation so I'm hoping that this triathlon will keep me on track um so yeah I went swimming yesterday today I went for like a bike and a run um but yeah not much going on this weekend tomorrow I have the day off but I'll start a new vlog tomorrow and I'm hoping to catch up in my editing and do better at vlogging and really get into a rhythm this coming year um so yeah i'm excited to have new content for you guys and just be like more consistent so yeah if you guys aren't already make sure to subscribe down below i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope that it's good um but stay tuned for more content make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok i'm hoping to po post more like daily like little tiktok reels um for you guys and then like address a lot of questions you guys frequently ask i know a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about dental school and like applying and stuff so i want to do like separate videos addressing all of your questions um but yeah so i'm excited for this coming up year and um i really need to get like organized and get everything together but um yeah i'm excited to have all this content for you guys but yeah, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.